Good morning, students. Welcome back. And this uh, class is for standard one. Children, you have lot of pictures in your book. Okay. So when I draw and make something and try to teach you, I thought this today I'll do something different. I've made a presentation for you so that you can see the pictures like you see it in your book. Okay. So uh, remember, we were doing chapter three numbers, digit one to nine. So we're going to go further with that. I'm going to do a little bit of revision and then we will move on further. Okay. What is this? In this, you have to see which one is more, which one is less. Can you see, children? Can you see there? Let's see the first question. Okay. Towards your right and towards your left, there are figures made. So you have to see which one is less and which one is more. Okay. The one which is more, you can circle it, and one which is less, you can just put a tick mark on that. Okay. Just to differentiate between which is more and which is less. Okay. Let's see the first one here. How many boxes do we have? We have one. Two, three, four. How many are there, children? Four. And that side we have one, two, three, four, five. Five. Which one is more, children? Is four bigger or five bigger? Yes, definitely five is bigger. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna circle that five there. Okay, you're gonna circle that and tick mark on four. Let's see the next one. Next one here we have a plus sign. How many plus signs do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, towards your left side you have six, and towards your right side how many do you have? One, two, three, four, four. So four is less when compared to six. So you're going to put a tick mark on four, and you're going to put a circle on six because six is bigger number. Okay. Now students, again, let's see the third one. How many circles do you have? Or it looks like a ball, right? So how many do we have? We have one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. How many do we have, children? Seven. And that side we have one, two, three, four, five. Only five. So which one is bigger? This one is bigger. The one which has seven is bigger or more. So you're gonna circle the one which is more, and you're gonna put a tick mark on the one which is lesser. Now this side. Uh, let's go to the fourth one. It's a triangle. Okay. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five triangles towards your right. Uh, towards your left and towards your left uh, right how many do you have one two three four five six seven 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 is more when compared to five so you're going to circle the seven and put a tick mark on four the remaining i'm going to give it to you as homework okay children i want to see how you're going to do it yourself you need to count the one which is more should be circled and the one which is less should be uh, you should put a tick mark on that okay let's go to the next one Okay, what do we have here? We have to count and write, children. Remember, on the board when I used to draw something, used to come running and count and tell me how many it is, right? So in this, we are going to count and we are going to see how many ducks do we have. The first one is ducks. How many ducks do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So what you are going to write in that box? You are going to write seven in that box. Okay, and then the next one. These are frogs. How many frogs do we have? We have one, two, three, four. Four frogs. So in this box, you're going to write four. Okay, and I, uh, you have to do the remaining also. This is again homework for you. I'm going to explain in every every screen. I'm going to explain two examples for you, and the remaining you'll have to do. I'll give give this to you as a homework. You have done most of these. Okay, I'm just doing a revision. So that we can move further, and I'm going to summarize everything for you. Okay, now see here. What is this, children? This is dice. Okay, these things are called dice. Okay, you remember when you play Ludo or Snake and Ladder, you roll it and you throw it, and then you see the number and accordingly you move it, right? These are dice. We are going to count this, and we are going to see with which number towards your right it is going to match okay let's see the first one in the first dice you have 1 2 3 4 5 5 and the second one you have 2 5 and 2 how many are there then 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now towards your right side see tell me where is 7 where is 7 yeah this one is 7 so you're going to match it you're going to put a line from here to there okay let's see the next one in the next one also in the first dice you have five and in the second one you have three so five plus three is how much children eight how are you going to count it one two three four five six seven eight so eight now towards your right side where is eight where is eight children yes this is your number eight 
So you're going to connect a line from here till 8. So this is matched the following. The remaining also you have to do it yourself. And I don't want any one of you to take your parents' help. Children, when I'm explaining, it is very easy for you to understand, right? So I want you all to do your homework on your own without taking your parents' help. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, this is fill in the missing number. I know that you all know from 1 to 9 and even more than that. So here we are going to see what numbers are missing and we are going to try to fill it up. Okay, I'll do one for you and the second one you'll have to do yourself. Now here we have one. What is there? What we are supposed to write here? Okay, what comes before 3 and what comes after 1? You all know right? After 1 comes 2. Before 3 comes 2. So here we are going to write 2. Now you have 3 and you have 5. There is one missing circle over there. What are you going to write on that? After 3 comes 4 and before 5 comes 4. So we are going to write 4 over here. Okay. Next is 5 and then you have an empty circle and then you have 7. What will come in between? What is going to come in between? After 5 comes 6 and before 7 also comes 6. So we're going to write 6 over there. Now we have 7 and 9 and there is something which has to be filled in between that. What comes after 7 children? After 7 comes 8 and before 9 comes 8. So you're going to write 8 in this particular circle. And after 9 you know children what comes after 9? After 9 it is 10. Okay. Similarly I want you to do this one. Okay, this again will be in homework. I'll be sending it to you. You have to see this. You have to fill it up and you have to send it to me. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, see what I taught you in the previous slide. The same thing is over here. Question, which number comes between 5 and 7? Children, where is your 5? Your 5 is here. Can you see the 5 over here? Students, here. 5 is here. So they are asking what number is coming between 5 and 7. What is this number? which comes between 5 and 7. What is that number? It is number 6. Right. So what you are going to do? You are going to write the answer as number 6. Right. Same in the question number 2. Which number comes before 9? Where is your 9? This is your 9. What comes before? I taught you already. Right. What comes before 9? You have to go towards your left side. So what is there before 9? 8. You have to write the answer 8. Okay, so the same way you have to do question number 3 and then I have two more questions for you. Question number 4 and 5. You have to do it yourself children because I want to see how much you are understanding and how well you can do it yourself. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, now here circle the big number and tick the smaller number like we did in the first one, right? There you had something to count and find out. Here I have directly given you the numbers. Okay, is 7 big or 4 big? Which one is big? Which one is big children? See in the previous slide we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10, right? So remember this and tell me which one is big, 7 or 4? The bigger number has to be, big number has to be ticked and the so, smaller number has to, uh, sorry, the big number has to be circled and the smaller number has to be ticked. So this 7 is your big number. You have to circle this, okay? You're going to circle this. And this 4 is your smaller number. You have to put a tick mark next to it. Tick mark, okay? Now, next is 8 and 2. Again, which one is bigger in this one? 8 is big or 2 is big children? You can count and see in your finger. So 2 is 1, 2, 2. But 8 is 5 plus 3, 8. So 8 is bigger. You are showing more fingers, right? So you are going to circle this 8 because this is big. And you are going to put a tick mark on 2 because that is a smaller number. Okay children? So with this I have completed the whole chapter. We had been doing certain part of this earlier also in your previous, uh, last week also I have given you homework related to this only and you have done it well. So this time I wanted to summarize the whole chapter and show you what all is there in that particular chapter. Now since we have seen these slides one after the other and I have given you everything that is there in the chapter, so we have finished with the summary. Now you are ready to give a test as well, right? Okay, I'm not going to give you a test, but yes, I'm going to give you the worksheets along with this and you have to complete that and you have to send it to me. 
I'll do the correction and I'll let you know how well you all did. Okay? I don't want anybody to trouble your parents. I want you all to do it yourself because this is very easy for you all. And you all are smart children, right? So until I meet you in the next video, stay at home and stay safe. Goodbye.